The following is a brief video. It is going to define and explain the slope of horizontal vertical lines. So first let's examine horizontal lines. Horizontal lines will always have a slope of zero. Uh, the reason behind this is because if you have a horizontal line, then the y value is always going to stay the same. It's going to remain zero. There is no y value change. And so it's going to be zero in the numerator. You know, horizontal line extends on forever horizontally if we draw one. And so it does have a horizontal change. So there is going to be a number in the denominator, but it doesn't have a vertical change. So there's going to be a zero in the top. And zero divided by anything is zero. And so horizontal lines have a slope always of m equals zero. And the way you can tell from an equation if a line is horizontal is horizontal lines always have the setup of y equals a number. No x variable, just the number itself. And we saw that in one of the other videos, um, earlier videos, when applying slope. When it comes to vertical lines, vertical lines always have an undefined slope. If I were to sketch a vertical line, we see there is a vertical change. And so we will have a number in the numerator. However, there is no left or right movement. And so we have a zero in the denominator. And if we go back and remember how we learned about division, we learned you cannot divide by zero. And so we say, since we cannot divide by zero, our slope is undefined. And just like before, vertical lines are going to be of the form x equals a number. So y equals a number is horizontal lines. x equals number is vertical lines. And so do remember you cannot, you can never, 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 never divide by zero. Anytime there's a zero in the bottom of a fraction, the slope is automatically undefined. You cannot simplify it, you cannot divide by zero, you go right to undefined. 